Alrighty, guys, welcome back to the next session of Resident Evil 4 Remake. And in the last one, it got pretty difficult on the, uh, uh, where were we anyway? What area was that? That was the valley. Th this place was difficult. I gotta tell you, it was uh, pretty rough because the villagers were just coming from just multiple heights, throwing those, uh, throwing those stick of dynamites down, and we were just not having a good time, so... We actually picked up the, uh, we actually picked up the, the rifle, uh, and we got a bigger case, too, so let me register the shortcut on here. Awesome. And then let me do something here with the flash grenade real quick. There we go. So we got our grenades, like, in one, uh, fell swoop here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Is so is this the scope or not? Let's see here. Did we just actually add it onto that? Dude. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so crazy using this. But I have limited the resources in that regard, so we're going to have to be careful. I only got five. It's going to take, I think, like 10 or 12 in order to... Yeah, it's going to take 10 in order to make rifle ammo. So we have to really be careful about what we're going to do with it. So let's continue. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we got him and said, wait a minute, no. I don't even know what happened. Oh, right into a bear trap. Are we going to start every single video like this? Are we going to start every single video like this? So, I'm, I'm kind of want to test something real quick. Okay, we can dodge that. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's going to work like every single time. But it's so funny how things like happen and work out like inadvertently and it turns out that it um it is to your advantage. It's so so good. What? How'd you get caught in that? Are you kidding me? I didn't know they could get caught in their own bear traps. What is that all about? That's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see here. We uh, missed. We missed ammo. Nah, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. There's something like right around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Wish I could just throw like something at it. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. This is the Alexandrite. Alexandrite. So we can actually equip that into... We can equip this into this right here. It's worth 6,000 too, so let's do this. Okay. I wonder if the red one's probably worth the most. This looks like, you know, uh, like the beginner, intermediate, and then, you know, the advanced uh, style gym. But, yeah, let's do that. Cool. So that is worth 32000 right now. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now, where is this ammo at? Is it up there or over here, maybe? Ooh, found a sapphire, okay. I am... 
There's resources behind me too? What is happening? Like, where is this stuff? It has to be above me. No, it's right here. <laughs> so once you walk by something, it like will locate it for you. So the ammo's right there. Okay, we're good to go, guys. Let's move on. I gotta do what I gotta do in order to secure my pesitas. Here, let's go ahead and use one of these. Okay. Got some more gunpowder now. Let's just keep an eye. There's a bear trap over there. And a ganado somewhere. <laughs> okay, we got that back. Okay, scribbles about dolls. This, their influence is not what it was. Destroy the wind-up dolls. Do not forget those Aristocats. <laughs> I wonder if these are just like random notes that we might find, or is there something around here? You missed the collectible, you fool! Ah, ah not gonna get me. There we go. We got the dirty oh, pearl pendants. Stinks. It was worth it, Leon. You know you want it. I love how he just he'll just randomly do these gestures of like checking his weapons and stuff. That is just so cool. Oh my god. Present for you. <laughs> Really? There. Yep, that's it. Slice them up. <laughs> there we go. Yes, an emerald. Now, um, let me want. Let me check to see how much the emeralds are worth. The emeralds are worth five. Okay, so we can use that for another time. This was executed fairly well, I must say. We did end up using, you know, grenade the rest of the grenades. So there's that. I'm really wondering if we could still use that. Like after after the fact, you know? There's another one. They got him hidden pretty well. I kind of don't even know, like, which way to go, you know? <laughs> Nothing here. Ah, look at that. <laughs> I'm checking my surroundings. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a secret, but it might be in the house area. Oh, wow, we can get in. Enough! Okay. I, re I remember that, too. That's placed exactly how it was before. You know, you open up the door, and there's a villager just right there waiting for you. Okay, we got a ruby. Not too shabby. Someone is showing up their neighbors. Yeah. Okay. This says, at last, flesh of our flesh, blood of our blood. Give thanks and rejoice. Okay. Yeah, man. Look at the detention to detail in here. <laughs> okay, we can't break can't break that stuff. Got another key. Okay, let me uh this might be on the second. Is this on the second level? Possibly. Uh-oh. I don't know if we have found any type of a code that... Yeah, I don't think I have found anything yet that can unlock this. Dang. We might get a hint maybe later. We'll see. Ooh, hand grenade! Oh, two of them, too. Here, let's, uh... Look here. Okay, man, just about what it seems like just about everything that you see just about like most of these drawers They all can be opened up can these And yeah, maybe not all of them, but you know Yeah, that's the way we entered in Nice. We'll save you for when it's necessary. Yeah, we'll hold out on the uh, um, on the resources because I probably would like to um, see if we'll come across like anything else as far as. Uh, as far as ammo, ammo-wise, I'm thinking about the shotgun stuff. In great veneration of their master, the people offered up their most prized possessions. The old farmer, his finest crops. The slight swineherd. His stroutest pig. What is that? The beggarly? The beggarly? Beggarly grandma? Grand? Grandam? The beggarly Gradam, her own beloved babe. The master saw these gifts and was pleased. <laughs> no, we actually need something different. This doesn't look like that's what that, that is to get in there. Hmm. This is this makes things interesting. Door with a round slot. Wow, what do we even do now? <laughs> this is back outside.
Okay, so the small key can be entered in here, so that's probably where we need to go to get what we need to get in order to get in to the uh, to the door upstairs. Wish you could just jump on some of this stuff. That'd be cool. I'm just gonna take another look around. That was the back way we entered in. And, it, and there's nothing back here, so we need to take the key uh, to the door over here. And encounter more enemies. This doesn't work here. I am at a loss then. Of course you are. The game's too hard. How about you quit? Wait a minute. Okay, that's gunpowder. <clears throat> was there a file that we picked up? Maybe. Let's see if there was a file we picked up that could have something in it. Destroy the wind-up dolls. There's something about that one. Okay, this is it. So we need a crop. Wait. Okay, let's go back inside because that might be our clue right there. Leon doesn't knock. He doesn't knock. Okay, it's not this. Where is that door at? Or no, it wasn't a do it wasn't a door. It was some kind of a safe. Okay, that's back outside. <laughs> and that is where he died. I don't think there was anything in there. No, there's only three here. Okay, look at files again. Wait a minute. There's crop, but we only have uh, three options. There we go. The crystal marble. Who's coming after me now? You guys. You guys know how this works. He's alive! Oh no, I don't think it worked. <laughs> yeah, let's just take care of him. Okay. Yeah, our knife is nearly done. Yeah, the gr the grenade not um not making contact was probably one of the probably one of the worst mistakes. Ooh. This is interesting. Do we have to get something to where it will like equal this? I have no idea.
I have no idea. Wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> How do we know if we've, like, done it? Will it just activate? I'm telling you, this is difficult. This is difficult. Somebody's in here. What are we even doing? I have no idea. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I'm wondering if the insignia has to match a shape that this thing has. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had no idea until we gave it a few rotate few rotations. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Ooh, Sadler. Okay, village records number three. The weather has been strange as of late. The wheat withers and the cows grow thin. That was October 8th, December 8th. October 10th, that is. The signs of there are signs of famine. It is true. We lack the means to work the fields, but Lord Sadler's orders are absolute. January 30th, 30 people have starved to death. Five cows will be slaughtered. March 11th, the patriarchs gather to cast lots. Six more chosen. For Lord Sadler. Let's see. April, eight more. Then no dates, four more, eleven more. Two outsiders got lost and wandered into the village. Ooh, we took them to the altar for the ritual. No need to cast lots today. <laughs> okay, here we go. That I should have picked up other stuff first. The blood that has accepted the gift. Ooh. <coughs> hey, man, you gotta go get her? <coughs> hmm. Yeah, he's he's looking burly. Gift. My blood. 
would. Hmm. I don't know, man. We'll find out together, won't we? Okay, chapter end. Cool. Cool. Let's get to a typewriter. Let's check the results. Okay, so purchase something from the merchant. Upgrade a weapon. Complete a, qu a quest. Got ya. 70% was pretty terrible, if you know what I mean. We had one death. Took uh, an hour and 20. Yeah, it took a little bit longer because we, we had to uh, go through that section of the... Uh, here, typewriter. Had to go through that section of, uh, well, whatever that place was called, I can never remember, I remember it. Okay. Chapter three, baby. Here we go. Bruce Secondor One, I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor One, out. Okay. We're in chapter three now. Let's see what this file is. Okay, it's Louis Sarah Navarro. Sarah's name first appears publicly in a university student registry. No prior records have been discovered, including his birth certificate. After graduating from university, he was employed by Umbrella's research division, where he became a rising star who won favor among his peers. He was involved in the development of several common over-the-counter drugs, all of which were discontinued before ever reaching the market. See attached list for details. After a few years later, Sarah resigned from Umbrella and could not be located. After Raccoon City incident, efforts were made by law enforcement and the government to track down anyone with links to Umbrella. But despite conducting an extensive search, they were unable to find him. Considering how well he invaded them, we are almost certain Sarah went to great lengths to disappear. In Hunnigan's handwriting, common over-the-counter drugs? Do you seriously think that Umbrella would let one of their best work on some anti-acid or beauty cream? Okay, Lewis, what were you doing with Umbrella, my man? Okay, so guys, I just want to point something out here. It's time to head back to the church yet again. Ooh. Okay. Okay, cool. That's for that's for uh, uh, him and Ashley, so they can come back here. So, what I want to uh, talk about is the fact that in the original, when you first got, when you first encountered... Okay, we already found that. When you first encountered the, uh, the chief, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but when you first encounter him in here, he picks you up like he does. And then he um, he drops you down after you know discovering your blood and whatnot. They tassel with each other for a second, and then that's it. And the weird thing is, is that you know, like the scene and stuff plays the way that it does, and then afterwards, you can choose to go back into the room. If you don't go back into the room, this is what's weird about this: you don't actually uh, encounter. You don't actually encounter a cutscene with him again that includes that scene with with Ada. So they actually threw that in here. Yeah, which way we're we going? This way. They actually threw that in here, and it's getting dark. That's cool. They actually threw that in here where it was a one. You too, huh? <laughs> oh. Let's help you. I'm so glad to see you, my friend. <laughs> oh, I wish I could pet you right now. He's like, thanks, Take care man. Yourself, buddy. Oh my gosh. Um I, uh, I, I'm glad that they kind of teased us with the fact that, you know, um, 
actually, I guess you can say I'm not really glad that they tease us with the what we thought was going to be the uh, the the end of our of our wolf buddy, but it looks like they're back after all and i'm i'm really excited to see that we got some more rats really excited to see that but yeah you know going back to what i was saying earlier the um the scene with Ada, uh, it wouldn't happen in the original if you did not go back into the room and have to encounter the big cheese once again. Because in the original, he also uh, jumps out the window after her. So that's kind of interesting about that. <laughs> okay. There's our friend howling it up. We're back in the village, guys. This is on the other side. Okay, we still can't get in there. We have a key, I think. We can get into this locked door now. But can we get in here yet? Ah, the insignia key will actually stay with us. Cool. Okay, so... Now that we're back in this section of the village, let's see if there's anybody else who has decided to come around. Come on, just give me a chance. Give me a chance to fight him. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. <laughs> They're brutal. They are brutal. <clears throat> okay, shotgun may not have been necessary, but I was not expecting whatever just happened. They totally just blocked blocked your blocked your way to get in there now. Now you got to find a way around. I'm hearing like something something else is about to happen too. Here, let's uh I'm I am not gonna be able to escape a single video of not stepping in one of those. <laughs> okay, we can actually go down here now. Let's see what's down here. Resource wise, let's actually make some uh, shotgun shells. Excellent. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually equip one of the other knives, too, so we can kind of mess around with, with these, kind of save this one before we break it. Okay. 
Doesn't look like there was anything else in here. So in the demo, you came down here once you, before you entered in the doors, before you enter in the doors to the main uh, section of the village, you'd come down here. Um, uh, well, let me, let me go up here and take care of these guys real quick. Sorry, must have slipped. We got another one over there. So, I actually want to go back. Let's go back real quick because I want to get into that one. Uh, want to get into that one place. So anyway, what I was saying was, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't remember now. I lost my train of thought already. Okay, so you know, in the demo, you um, before you enter in the village, you actually get rid of all of your weapons, all uh, everything that you have in your inventory. You get, you completely get rid of it. Yeah, there's new bear traps around, and I think there's somebody in there too. Yeah, you get rid of all of your uh, get rid of all your stuff. And and um, then you give your your uh, self a chance to actually enter in through the let's see here. Give yourself a chance to enter in the village, and it opens up the uh, the man. It opens up the manhole covers. What's this? A vintage compass. That's kind of cool. Wonder what that's gonna be for. Uh, just a collectible, probably. Let's, uh... Cool. Oh, yeah, it's just a little collectible. That's nice. But yeah, the ma the, uh... The manhole covers are lifted from, from the wells on both sides. And you can actually, uh, go down there in the place that we were just in. And it's the place that we're gonna be going back to here in a minute. So I think there's something over here. It's in the next place over. I don't think we can get to it yet because that door is locked and then we can get in there. Yeah. Are there people down here now? Yep. Ah, be quiet. <laughs> you didn't really know I was down here. Nobody heard anything. Okay, so uh, the TMP is down there. And once you equip the TMP, it actually stays in your inventory. Now it sounds like there's somebody on that side. Or they're in here. Yep, they were in here. Right on, Leon. Oh, we can't even won't open. Can't even get back out that direction. And there's nothing else in here, right? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, sorry if it seems seems like my commentary might be all over the place because I, I'm talking about a few things and then we encounter some other things that are happening. Let's get inside. Oh wow, look at it. Look at this place. 
Oh, snake! <sighs> Just like in the original! Come here! You get the whole snake. That's kinda cool. Wonder what we'll be using that for. Oh yeah, I didn't even get- I- I exited too quickly before I could, uh, show- show the, uh, little animation on screen. But yeah, we'll check we'll check that out a little bit later. Oh wow. Just the detail in here is just so fantastic. The lighting, the candles, the the fog. Yay, the shotgun shells. <laughs> it's just all too incredible. Oh my gosh. Are these all heads? You have got to be kidding me. It's like witchcraft up in here. Sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mother shall sew new small clothes. At seven quintal of wheat in half a bowl a day, you have outgrown your pen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is crazy. I love how they just, like, you know, there's things that you can't really, like, interact with. Or there's things that you can't, like, touch, or they don't have anything where, you, you know, it has, like, any kind of reading material attached to it. You can just look at it. Look at it up close and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, just, uh, whoa, what are we doing with this thing? Okay, it's a unique, uh, modeled pattern. If the poison glands are removed, it may be eaten. It can be used to restore health. Okay. Huh. Wow, dude, that is so cool. Oh, first aid spray. Let's make sure we got it in the right place here. Resource wise, we got nine. We got three grenades. Yeah, let's u let's definitely utilize our uh, handgun this next time around. Seriously, this is just fantastic. Uh oh. Oh, it's the merchant. I'm like, who is that? In stock. <laughs> Come take a look. Okay, sick of constantly running out of ammo? Well, I've got a treat for you. The bolt thrower is something else, mate. Its bolts can be retrieved and reused, so you can keep shooting forever. Also, don't forget to buy the bolt recipe to turn your extra knives into well bolts. Never worry about ammo again. And that's not all. You can affix the bolts with attachable mines. Proximity explosives to quickly turn the weapon into a powerful mine thrower. Shoot an enemy to see them explode instantly or at a surface set or at a surface to set a proximity mine. You'll lose the bolt, but it'll be worth it. Giving us little hints, uh, my man. I love this purple flame. Ooh, you have the stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> Oh, and how he talks, like, I can just hear it through, like, both sections of the headphones. Okay, so what's this? Sell three vipers, and then we'll get the spinal times four. Okay. Gotcha. We got one. We'll go ahead and throw a save in here. Real Actually, you know, after. After. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. <laughs> Do we have anything that we can actually see here? 
We can add another gem to this. It's got a value of 32. I kind of want to go ahead and do it. But let's see uh, what items he has. Wow, a flash. You we can make flash grenades too. For your buck. I guarantee it. And there's the TMP. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair well this. Easy work. We can sell the pendant. We can sell the vintage compass. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Okay. What I actually want to look at, though, is we can equip this with a with the sapphire. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, nice. It increased the value by like 12,000. And then the mask. We can throw a we can throw a uh an a uh regular gym on it. So let's go ahead and sell this now. That's going to boost us up. And then we can sell that as well. Any time. Welcome. Here we go. Your valuable here we go, here won't we go. do you much good in the grave. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep, we'll hold on to these for now. Hey, let's go ahead and sell one of these so we can get this going. I knew you were a go-getter. What's that? How have we procured oh. these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know, mate. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this because we we'll probably be able to get something right. else later anyway. Heal a man. Kill or, a man. you know, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it would that be nice to get one of these, but I just I don't have room. Life. I just don't have room right now. Easy choice. Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. Yeah, let's go ahead and increase. <laughs> Try that on for size. Let's increase. There you are. As you wish. Hmm. Knife needs care every once in a while. Could be the difference between life and death. Reload speed a little bit Dazzled, faster. Are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no. Let's go ahead and increase the power of the shotgun. Try that on for size. We'll take his ammo capacity up. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. I think I'll probably keep the Molding sniper rifle where it is. To suit your specific uh, needs. <laughs> maybe it's we'll go ahead and of beauty. Yeah, let's do ammo capacity. We're starting to get I think an idea we're of your I think we're good for now. Anything? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> okay. All right. We are ready to go, Leon. Just gotta find two more of those vipers and we'll be we'll be set. Now, was there actually a treasure treasure map oh, for us to buy? Break welcome. Got a selection of good things on no, sale. No, but let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and get All this. All my wares are in tip top shape. Well then. Happy cooking. And then we'll do bolts Come when we're ready to do the mine time. thrower. Okay, flash grenade actually takes just a little bit there. I think we're good. We got three of these now, so let's uh let's uh just hold on to what we have.
And let's just check the map real quick just to see what's gonna be coming. Let me think here. Oh, you know what? Save. We didn't save yet. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. The sun's going down. I can't see what's going on. Oh, nothing but the far. Okay. Find his ways. <clears throat> he has the other knife, the kitchen knife out right now, so let's go ahead and just keep that as it is. And then one more time, we'll check the map. Okay. Wow, look at the church. A church. I made it. Not without them noticing us. Wonder if this is something. Maybe. Oh, come on. I got him right in the head as soon as he grabbed me. All right. Got some resources out of that. Nice. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. And uh, yeah, that's the way we came up. Hmm. Now, I wonder if uh, these gravestones have uh, any meaning, since some of them have, like, the symbols on them. I'm just checking around, y'all. Just seeing what's available. I will surely grab gunpowder from the bird. The crow. Damn it. Gunder one to roost. The church is sealed up. And baby eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor 1, out. Hey, hey. We got the red gemstone ring. Sorry if I didn't, uh, didn't move again. I, I am trying to kind of move my camera a little bit. Like, if, if, uh, we come up against, uh, we come up on some of those, like, new, uh, come up on some of those newer treasures I'd like for you guys to see if you know what I mean showcasing your thievery nice hey you know we're not okay I was like we're not getting in but we're we're in here at least it's Ashley That takes a key. We don't have one right now. Okay. Um, the words have been... Um, the words have been... Uh, blurred out on this. 
A pest from the outside has come for the girl. Lock her in the church and something orders and wait orders from our Lord until then keep the church door shut. The key I'll be the key I'll be held in the cave on the on their side of the lake. The monster would deal with the foolish intruder. <laughs> Lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. Is that a lock right there? Hell no. Let's head on down. Oh, because this was originally locked. And that's how we get by. Okay, let's go ahead and open it. Oh my gosh, it is so great seeing all this, guys. We're going to go ahead and do a save, and I think that we'll go ahead and save this adventure. This adventure coming up for the next one. This has, uh, uh, this was definitely a really good, uh, a really good part, I think. This was definitely a, a good part, I think. Here, I almost forgot to, uh, throw my camera back. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, we're gonna continue on, because I really want to keep going. I, I think, uh, what we got, we know what we got coming up is gonna be a difficult section. Uh, we got a monstrosity to deal with, and we'll see what happens going forward. So if you guys are enjoying Resident Evil 4 Remake, just as I am, and you would like to continue to see more of the craziness out here, make sure to stay connected to the channel, because we are going to be up against probably one of the most interesting challenges coming up, and we'll see what happens if we'll be able to get Ashley back in our possession. And if you guys are also enjoying the Resident Evil madness as Leon is progressing, getting stronger, and getting more accurate with his shots, you can throw a like on the video. It will help with the engagement. And make sure to comment down below, and you guys can talk to me anything Resident Evil related if you want to. Up to this point, no spoilers, because we'll have plenty more of the story to go through. So I appreciate you guys coming by, and I will catch you in the next one when it is ready to go. Leon, you ready? <clears throat> okay, then.